Hey everybody, welcome back to our coverage of the 2019 Browns and Bows Pro-Am Tournament. I'm here with Aaron, and my name is Joseph. Say hi, Aaron. Hey, y'all. Hey, so we are looking at the back nine of the final round of this tournament. This is a beautiful course. We've been having a blast here so far. So we get out of the more manicured kind of landscape area and into this more rugged topography. We got these creeks and ponds to deal with. It's it's a really challenging few holes, but some, some really interesting shots. So I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys do with it. Yeah, we got some water. We got a lot of trees, some pretty technical holes, and it actually stretches out quite a bit from the front nine, which you might have seen if you watched that video. A lot of shorter holes on that one. So leading the card, we have Philo Brathwaite out of Southern California. And we have Matt Bell repping Santa Cruz, though I believe he's lived in a few places over the years. And we have Brian Costa, a local, fairly local, from Grass Valley. He's no stranger to this place. He's played it many times for the tournament. And then we have Ryan Bertoncini out of Nevada City, also uh, a guy who is no stranger to this course. Yeah, just down the road there. Here we are on hole 10 which is a par three, 177 feet. It's a short downhill shot. This is kind of the last of the holes in this more manicured front part of this course. A sort of wedding reception area, right? Yeah, you see the tent and some of the uh, outbuildings. I believe that the gravel plays OB on this one. Yeah, yeah, you're correct. So you, you can't go too long. You've got to play kind of a nice, soft little hyzer as Matt's doing here. Oh, but he kicks a tree. Although that's safe. Cause I think that's in inside that, that little line of uh, rocks there. I think uh, anything in that area is still safe. This is a course where the, there's kind of some finer points of gravel, rocks, road. Yeah. A lot of different materials what and, what, yeah, and what's OB and what's not look like Ryan was in bounds, but might still have a, uh Oh, I still have a putt left, and Brian kicks a little long, and that gravel is OB there, so he's going to be looking, hopefully, for a par at best. Philo from a standstill puts a nice little hyzer approach in, and he's nice and close on the grass. After yeah. skipping off those rocks. Yeah, nicely done. Well done, sir. So it looks like the OB actually plays as a hazard because you see Brian taking his life from pretty far back there. Not happy with his effort on that putt. Uh, he's going to be looking at a bogey, it looks like. Now in the background there, that's our tournament director, right? That's Chip? No, that's Jerry. <laughs> There's no actual Jerry. I know. I don't know what that the guy's name is, though. but yeah, okay. he's been dubbed Jerry by, by Brian Costa. <laughs> but that wasn't Chip. No, it's not Chip. That's funny. And then let's see what Costa does. Ain't no thing. Yep, cleaning up his bogey there. See, he's a little unhappy with that. It's hard to take on a 177-foot hole, but, you know, anything can happen. And then Matt is cleaning up his par, and now we're on to what is the more kind of rugged out there part of the course yeah we take a little walk to get here and we have a long hole just a little bit downhill mostly straight with the basket pretty much just dead ahead at about 345 you do have ob left over that fence there and also to the right in the pond so you definitely have some stuff to worry about especially for these guys who are going to get all the way down there This shot really shapes up nicely for Philo. He's so good at these straight rock shots, and he proves it right there. That's all you got to do. Yeah, no problem. Just 345 feet on a rope. Let's see what Ryan goes for here. Looks like he's kind of going for a turnover, but or hyzer flip, but it catches a branch early. I think he stayed in bounds, but he's going to have a tough up shot. Yeah, he's got work to do. Bell's looking down the fairway, avoiding the trees. Yeah, kind of a... That's actually not even that long of a putt. No, yeah. it's not bad. A little flex line, which is kind of interesting. Costa, as he's wont to do, is going up and over everything. Well, you still might have got it. You Let's drop see. it in there, man. What you got? What? Oh, well, he's safe. He's down the bank a little bit, but he's got a putt from there. Yeah, longer putt. Let's see if Ryan can recover here from that Ooh. tree contact. 
That does great. That was a great shot. A little scary for a moment there, um, almost on the shoulder of that slope leading to the pond, but skips up and oh, Costa uses the backstop nicely. Man, he might have been looking over that fence too. If yeah, he hit that tree. Yeah, I think you're right. That could have certainly carried Ob. Tough contact with the basket there for Bell. Hopefully, he didn't end up too far behind it. There's Violet with the best drive of the bunch and just puts it dead center, and that'll get him a stroke at least on the card. That was fun to watch come in. I remember that one. Yeah, that was a pretty amazing drive. All right, no problem for Bell's par. That's good. It sucks when you hit basket and then it just sends you flying, so he didn't pay the price on that. Ryan cleaning up his par. That's a good recovery from where his drive went. Should be happy with that. And Costa pars out and moves us on to hole 12, which is a bit of a shorty with some tricky stuff going on, you see? Yeah, it's a pretty unique hole. I don't think I've ever played anything quite like this, where it's raised on that elevated, I guess it's a rock it's raised up on, but then there's that steep drop just short of it. So the safe plays to go long, but then, of course, if you go long, you have a death putt coming back at it. So it's, you know, trying to walk that, that fine line there. It's probably safest to just bang some chains yeah i mean that always just take the upshot out of the equation right if you just ace it i wish i had told philo that before he threw but alas i was too far away yeah. and he's just trying to laugh <laughs> it off he thought my joke was funny <laughs> ryan going with kind of a high s curve line and that settles nicely Give oh him. that's good that should be not the most nerve-wracking of putts Bells is coming up a bit short. Highs are now kind of early. Oh, it's not really short. Never mind. Yeah, and he won't be putting directly at the at that cliff either. He's he's kind of alongside of it, so that's not a bad come angle on, to be at. Oh, Costa going for kind of an Anheuser throw at it. Yeah, it's up a little deep. Gave it a chance. It was the right height. Um, he, he definitely likes to put a, a show on for the fans. So um, I think anything like this, he, he's he's trying to give it an ace run. Got to respect that. There was oh, <laughs> not respecting that. Wow. Oh, and then he throws that in her face. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, there's so many like really cool ponds here. These are some of the ones that are a little bigger. Um, not as much flowing water through. Um, they look a little more natural. And I was always looking out for frogs because I'm kind of that nature nerd. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of critters in and around all these bodies of water. From this pond, it, it, the water drains back down into the creek that it was pumped out of originally. So it just does this big kind of cycle through the property. Yeah, and they so. really they made some great efforts there. And moving on to hole 13, what we have is a downhill look. You can't see the basket from up there. You want to try to sneak down in through all these trees. Even the drone has to kind of find its way through, you see. Yeah, this is like one of the most uniquely shaped holes I've, I've seen where it's flat over a pond then downhill to a blind basket next to a creek like just bringing so many elements in and such a touchy little shot it's pretty pretty fun to play and, and to watch these guys throw on it that ends up real nice actually yeah, that's almost exactly what you want just kind of that turnover that holds that line because the basket is a little bit to the right um, after you go down that slope Bills flips a little harder than he wants it to, probably. Yeah. Maybe a little inside of his line. Yeah, catches that branch right above the road there. So he'll be looking down at the basket, but it's still not an easy shot from there. Philo sneaks through, maybe caught a leaf or two, and didn't sneak under the fence or anything, and he's got a nice putt at it. Yeah, he'll be he'll be looking at a pretty makeable birdie putt there. Casa's going to throw something crazy. Oh, uh, that was you're such a normie, dude. I know. That was about the least crazy I'm thing. Just throwing like everybody around. else. Yep. I, you know, it, it worked. So. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's fine. Fine. Fine, Ryan. Yeah, I was expecting a thumber. Brian, Tomahawk sorry. Something. <laughs> just kidding, man. If you're watching this, we got love. Bell giving it kind of a run. It's it's almost so steeply downhill that he had a backstop, but it did kick a little long. I have a little putting work to do. Oh, great birdie for Costa. Yeah, left corner pocket. No pictures on the scorecard. I 
All right. Let's see what Ryan's got here. Oh. Ooh, that's an unfortunate putt. Yeah, he's going to be a little upset with himself, I think, missing that opportunity. He had the looked like the best drive of the bunch. Um, just wasn't able to capitalize with the putt. Yeah, one thing I like about him is his vibe stays pretty cool, and he bounces back really well, too. Yeah, and uh, Philo hit his birdie putt. Matt came back, saved his par, and there's Ryan cleaning up a par. So I believe it was two birdies, for uh, one for Philo, one for Brian, and Matt and Ryan parred on that hole. Mm -hmm. They're going to cross a bridge and head over to hole 14 now. This one's a pretty wild one. It's a little bit uphill, makes it play longer than the 306 that it's measured at, and there's also a good number of trees to knock you down along the way. Yeah. Not going to get many skips here because there's freaking rocks everywhere. Yeah, it's actually a little reminiscent to a hole at Zephyr. It's something about the uphill lie with all those rocks. It's got oh, yeah. kind of a mountain course feel to it. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Philo gets up there, hits a couple branches, but yeah. said hello to two trees along the way and still ends up with a spot where he should get an easy par. That was cool watching that flight from just the catch cam angle to see really how much uphill they were going and how far. Here, here we get to see it again for Brian's. Let's see what he does. Oh, yeah. A oh, little low, catches a branch, and yeah, he's gonna, he's still going to have some work to do. I don't know if that's going to be. Let's see if one range. of these guys can really get it. It's not easy, but it's there. Yeah. You really got to hit the line right. Yeah, kid. Brian got most of the way up there. It looks like he's hung up in that bush, but I don't think he's two metered, which I believe no. is in play. Yeah, he's plenty low for that. Northern California. Last off the tee is Matt Bell here. Wow, he got it out clean. Didn't hit anything early. Fades out a little bit at the end, but he's probably almost pin high. I think that was like the only hyzer route that we saw out of all of them. The rest of the guys turn it over? Yeah, I mean, Throw it was a little hard to see because so many of them hit branches early that it really affected their flight. Yeah, I guess that's true. All right, anybody going to sneak any magic in there, or are we just looking at a nice little boring hole? Ooh, that was a good run. Rock yeah. keeps him right there by it. He definitely... Or, oh. 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 You hit When you see the camera panning around to, to try to find the roll away, that's... Yeah, that putter did a little hiking, didn't it? Spells doom. It cost it, actually. Uh, yeah, lifted a little low. He, he gave himself a... Decent look with that drive, though. That's about a 35-footer, huh? There's Bert, CTP. A little bit of bush work to do. Mm. Not quite right on the putt. That's all right. Let's see if we can get these guys out in three. Yeah, Bell cleans up his par there. Everyone's scrambling up the rocks to there. It should just be all par tap-ins, I believe. Yeah, they're all right there. Yep. Well, you know, R Ryan might have gone a little bit over and beyond. But it should be... No problem. Cool, cool. So, we're headed out to hole 15. This one is a trip. Yep. There are so many trees in the way. I, I honestly could not tell what route these guys were going to throw. I had to just go stand over by the basket and see what was going to happen. And then discs just started dropping in at me. Yeah, this one's only 273 feet, but it's quite a bit uphill. There's a ton of stuff in the way. Definitely feels like a bonus birdie. Yeah, even even for players of this caliber, this is, this is no gimme. You see these guys just lining up for the, the high shot. Yep. They're going to hyzer it in there and just hope for the best, get the right kind of contact, and drop in okay. Oh, there's Philo's drive. That looks like it's in the circle, yeah. That's pretty solid. Really nicely done. Let's see what uh, Costa does. Maybe even a higher angle. See what happens. Oh! oh! 
Oh, wow. no, that was fun to see. You didn't, you couldn't catch it till it, the very end. It there. almost looked like on the first cam that it, it was very close to hitting the basket. That was a good line. Yeah, Ryan looks like he's kind of following Costa's line. Yeah, that also spikes in really close to the bat. Look at that. Stopped nice and friendly, too. It's like probably less than 10 feet. Let's see where Bell ends up. Man, these guys are making this very difficult hole look not difficult. Yeah, this was this was a surprising one. I had no idea where they were going to end up, and they all just bombed it right in on me. Philo with the longest putt, and he cans it for birdie. So I'm feeling like there's maybe some star frame possible. Yeah, let's go, y'all. Yeah, let's do it. Look at the first one on the round. Costa gets his birdie. Looks like Philo has something special planned here. <laughs> Just kind of, I think we're all appreciating this hole and how well it went. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely good good vibes on the card. Uh, they are ringing the chains for the star frame, which is a Scandinavian tradition. And I believe they made some mention of, of KJ Naibo. Maybe that's the guy who taught them about it. That's cool. I, I like to think that that like, dates back to like pagan times and yeah. like maypole dancing kind of stuff. Yeah, Viking funerals with disc golf baskets. Yeah, yeah. It's like deep cultural <laughs> roots. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> All right. So hole 16. We've got a shorty here. These guys are looking at just some nice righty hyzers to get to it. You do need to miss some trees along the way, so it kind of forces that higher route. Yeah, and you need to have the arm to spike it up and over a pretty sharp angle. I mean, it's not far, obviously, but you do have to get it up and over those oaks, which didn't seem to be a problem for Philo, and let's see what Costas does. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, I like it. Do something cool. No, it's right there. Oh, yeah, that looks like it also spiked in We're pretty close. We're watching them do just that, yeah. Looking good. Ryan's comes out a little lower, but it looks like it might have gone through. I don't. I, we didn't see it finish there, but I, I thought maybe I saw the, the tree knock it down. Oh, let's let's see what comes up here on the yep. approaches. Bell definitely got out there. Yeah, he's also looks like probably in the circle based on where that came in. Yep. That looks like tree contact. Yeah, I think Ryan did catch something. Didn't didn't allow the disc to finish its flight. And I think he's gonna fill out on the comment card that some of the signage was poorly placed. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah. But he, wow, great little spinny shot up there. Yeah, and no problem. That'll that'll leave him an easy tap in first par save. There you go, Philo. Yeah, that was a nice confident stroke there on that putt. See if Bell can answer. Yeah, no problem for Bell, the 2016 world putting champion. He's uh, he's made a few of those in his day. So let's see if Costa can get his. He sure does. That actually gives him a four-stroke lead over Ryan Bertoncini, which was about the only gap we might be looking at closing down here. So things may be a little more locked in as far as place goes, but these guys are here to have a good time. They're, I mean, they're, it's been a really fun card. I, I really like the camaraderie in this, you know, in this round. Yeah, Philo's got a six stroke lead now going on to hole 17, which is a par three uh, uphill. It's pretty open. There's really not a lot to worry about on this. Just, just kind of getting it up there and having it settle in the circle. And maybe giving it a little ace run. Uh, looks like Costas came up a bit short, but definitely in the circle there. He's got to be happy. Bell going for a little bit more of a high hyzer, coming in just fine. Guys are hanging out. Yeah, and Ryan's last on the card here. Just over that tree, oh, looks like it's fading pretty nicely. Just a little past the basket. All right, Costa catches his birdie. 
Yeah, if he's the furthest out, then uh, we've got a good chance in another star frame here. I believe in you guys. Definitely believe in that guy putting. We've gotten to hang out with Matt Bell quite a bit in our local route productions. He was a big part of the, uh, was it the, the last Chabot tournament that we were covering? Yeah, Oakland City Championships. Yeah, yeah. Which he, which he took down. And then, uh, yeah, Ryan cleaned up his birdie as well. So that was another, another star frame for the group. So this is uh, hole 18, our final hole of the tournament. It's par three, it's 255 feet. It is over water, but you know, for these guys this distance, it's pretty easy carry. You do have to get kind of down under these branches late, and you, you know, you want to land obviously as close as possible in the circle there, so you're not having to navigate around those trees on your putt. I hope they all shared some really heartfelt and, uh, and spirited high fives before this hole. Oh, oh there they are. Yeah. Wow. For oh, cameraman high fives. Camera. Thanks, Philo. Yeah. Showing yeah. some love. Yep. All right. Really good group. Okay, cool. Yeah, you guys are good in our book now. Friends of local route. <laughs> now, this was a blast. Uh, this this course, this whole this whole scene, just it really had a nice feel. Yep. It was very relaxed. Kind of like that, that straight shot that Philo just threw. Very relaxed. Just nice and easy. 20, 25 feet out. Costa's going with a little bit more of a flex line. It's coming in kind of late. Uh, he might have he might have some work to do on that putt. Yeah, depending on the lie. <clears throat> Bell shot ends up a little bit right as well, even further right, in fact. Yeah, he kind of turned that over a little more than he was expecting or hoping to. Ryan's looks like he's gonna find it here. Does the disc come down? Comes down a little deep. Moving on to putts here. Oh, Ryan! Oh, strong finish. Yeah, the little jump putt from uh, 35 feet to finish with a birdie. That's that's a great shot. He's feeling good about that. Matt closes Ooh. out his tournament that with a birdie. That was a slick little putt there. Yeah. He had a ceiling. He went at it. Yeah. That is a very low ceiling. Definitely had to put some spin and some oomph on that to get it get it all the way there under those low branches. Ah, Costa catches maybe one link, but a little too far right. Philo with the win. That's uh, a nice round number to finish with for a tournament, yeah, right? Yeah, right. 30 down. So to finish out the round, we've got Philo at 30 down after three rounds. And we have Matt Bell at 24 down, Brian Costa at 13 down, and Ryan Bertoncini at 10 down. A lot of birdies out there. Yeah. I mean, Philo had a, a great great couple of days out here and uh, shows with his, his final score. Really want to give a big thanks to the all the staff and, and you know Mark Brown and all all the guys that work with him, uh, Matthias uh, Monson and uh, Derek Zaragoza, really welcoming a uh, bunch of people and were hugely helpful for us and our, our production out there. Yeah, they were super kind in, in hosting us, inviting us out to cover the round. So stay tuned for the next round from this tournament. Actually, after all the tournament play, we have a great skins round between Philo and Bell. Fun to watch those two guys go head to head on a, a pretty ta challenging course and, and really just running almost everything. But for now, we're going to sign off. So this is Joseph and Aaron with Local Route Productions saying we'll see you out there. See you out there.